This question comes up when I'm teaching classes on Microsoft Project and Project Server. Comes up occasionally in the Microsoft Project and Project Server public user forums. People ask if there's any kind of conditional formatting in Microsoft Project the way there is in Excel. And the reason that folks ask this question is because Microsoft Project behaves in many ways like Excel, and it looks like Excel. So you would assume there's got to be conditional formatting. Well, the answer is there is limited conditional formatting in Microsoft Project. So here's our scenario. Um, we're going to pretend that the company that I work for wants us to format every new task added through change control using the bright green cell background color. So that's our story. Whenever we add new tasks to our project, we want to highlight them using the light, uh, you know, bright green or light green cell background color. Um, I'll show you a way that we can use Microsoft Project's version of conditional formatting to make this happen. Okay, so here we go. In order to set up the conditional formatting in Microsoft Project, you have to go to the Format tab. And then over on the left end of the Format ribbon, you have a button called Textiles. The moment you get into the Textiles dialog, ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing Microsoft Project's limited way of doing cell background formatting conditionally. Now, here's the way it works. When you click the Item to Change Pick list, Microsoft Project will allow you to set up any kind of custom formatting for font or cell background color for these situations. For example, one of the project managers that I work with, a young man named Keegan, he really likes to use kind of a light blue color on all of his summary tasks. So he didn't realize that he could do this automatically. He went through a project that had like 1,600, 15, 1,600 tasks in it, and he manually highlighted every summary task with that light blue cell background formatting. Well, once I found out that he had done that manual, I said, oh, Keegan, there's a faster way to do it. Let me teach you how. And so what I taught him is to choose the summary tasks option in the dialog. And then all of his summary tasks, boom, will turn that light blue color immediately once he selects it. Now, I want to do new tasks added through change control. And when you look down the list here, you don't really see anything called new tasks. We're going to use a little trick here, marked tasks. That's marked tasks, everybody. A marked task, I'll show you how to mark in just a moment. So let me choose the background color, and I'll choose this light green color here. That's what she's going to look like. All right, so we'll click OK. Now, nothing happens yet. We need to mark some tasks. Now, in order to mark the tasks, here's what I'm going to do. I'll right click on the task mode column header, and I'll choose insert column. And ladies and gentlemen, did you know there is a column called marked that is available by default in Microsoft Project? This is pretty much any version. I, I have not run into a version yet where the marked column wasn't available. So I'm going to insert the marked column. Now what is the marked column? It is, a, it is a default field that you can use for any purpose you want. And then you can tie conditional formatting to it to get tasks to show up that are marked. I have actually used this in real projects when I needed to be able to mark some tasks for further review. So I did the format, textiles, made it like a particular color, and then I marked those tasks by choosing a yes value. Now, in our project, we've actually had two new tasks that were added through a change control process. These are the tasks rebuild and retest. And what I would like to do for our sponsors at their request, I want to make them that light green color. Folks, watch this. 
Bing! Look at that. Bing! There you go. That is Microsoft Project's version of conditional formatting, limited as it might be. All right, Kurt, that's my next uh, tip or trick. Let's see if anybody has any questions. We'll take the uh, first two that came in here. Um, can this can this be set as a general program setting, or does it have to be set up per project? Um, what you would want to do is um, any templates that you're going to use to create projects from, when you create the template, you'd want to go to the Format tab, Text Styles, and set your conditional formatting the way you want for things like summary tasks, milestones, mark tasks, and so forth. And then when you create every new project from those templates, it's all built in and ready to go. And then so that's a great good topic. question. Yeah, another one we got here, is there an easy way to restore the default formatting for all tasks? So let's say that you want to un unmark them, you know. Then you oh, um, okay. Well, that that's a good one. Um, the when when you do conditional formatting and let let me think here let me uh, that's a question nobody's ever asked me let me try doing something here and I'll tell you if the answer what the answer is aha uh -huh, that's exactly what I thought the whenever you do uh, either manual formatting of cell background colors or you use the conditional formatting, that becomes an attribute of the view in which you apply it. The view in which you apply it. Now in my case, this is the Gantt chart view. So what I did to go back to the default is on any of the view pick lists, for example on the task ribbon, down near the bottom you have an option called reset to default. And when you choose reset to default, it does put the Gantt chart view back in its original condition. Now let's go look at the uh, text styles dialog and let's go pick marked and bingo, look, see, it's back to automatic, changed from green. That was a good one. That almost tripped me up. I had to think, okay, how does this work? So very good. You almost got me. All right, Kirk, excellent questions. Thank you for asking, folks.